So I'm Lillian Grace, I'm the, the founder and CEO of Wiki New Zealand, and um, we are working to democratise data and kind of pull together data from a variety of sources and make it so that everyone can use it. And one of the kind of the core principles of that was kind of making the stand that I don't think um, open is necessarily, can you hear me, is that going all weird? Is that right? Okay. Um, that open is, is kind of far enough. I think that open can technically mean that some people can access it, but still not everyone can actually use something. And that we need to work on how to make something truly usable and present things in the language that other people kind of receive and can understand before it's really widespread. So I'll talk a bit tomorrow about um, Wiki New Zealand and some of my dreams with, with data and open and truly usable data. But what I want to talk to you that today, I've just got five minutes, is that I find open source stuff really intimidating. And I find the community intimidating and scary. And the reason I want to, to, to share that part of you and share my real honest kind of thinking and, and feelings is because the journey with Wiki New Zealand, I have learned that it is not sufficient to, you know, have a great idea over in a corner somewhere and then try and convince everybody else, you know, to come over here. The role of really embedding something really widespread into people's thinking, into things that people can actually pick up and, and act and embed in their own systems is, is getting into their world, getting into their shoes and understanding what their misconceptions are and what they're afraid of and, and using a language where they can kind of understand what you're trying to impart. So hopefully, um, you know, so I might say some things now that you find, you know, are misinformed or jarring or, you know, obvious and naive. But the purpose of, of me saying these to you is so that you understand what some of the misconceptions could be. And, and um, you know, through my learnings and how I have been interacting with and, and using open source. So, so I used to think that the open source community was something that was kind of, um, you know, like an underground kind of community that did things in parallel and staunchly opposed, you know, the way that other things um, were done. And, and when I started Wiki New Zealand, um, I had a, a developer come along and say that they could, you know, create what I wanted um, pretty easily by using some open source tools. And I was like, yep, sure, great. Didn't really know what that meant exactly, didn't really care, just really wanted the thing that was in my head to, to exist. And, and so he was able to knock something together in about um, 60 hours, and, and that kind of initial proof of concept site was something that I was able to use for kind of the, the two and a half years following um, and, and use for, um, to kind of show people my idea and, and what to do. And, and I didn't give too much thought to, to open source and, and, and how Wiki New Zealand and how we fit into the, the community uh, until more recently, like I've been asked a couple of times to talk at um, uh, like the Linux conference and, and, other, um, and others where I'm like, oh, you know, we're, I'm now kind of starting to tiptoe into this community that I find a little bit scary. And the people that, that I work with um, are, are very strong proponent, proponents of, of open source. So I've, Gone, right, I want to understand more about this and really think about you know, how we've been able to win using it and, and understand how it kind of fits into the, the world and, and um, the models we can use. Because, because what I find now is with, with Wiki New Zealand, we've now got like a really valuable piece of software and I'm sitting there with my shoes going, I, I need, I, with my kind of CEO hat on, need to have a sustainable revenue model. I need to, you know, I've got people actually coming to me saying, you know, can we, can we license what you're doing um, and can we, can we pay for it? And I'm like, yes, but my whole team want to open source it and I want to be able to give back to the community. And I'm sitting here going, I don't understand how to operate in this world. I don't understand who to talk to and who can speak my language, who will come and sit in my boat and say, yep, we understand that these are the priorities that you have and that you, um, and this is how you can kind of embed open source thinking. And, and when I kind of, you know, when I think about the potential of open source based on my understanding. So I see it as um, it's essentially like a big tree where it means that everybody can build branches but nobody has to build their own, their own trunk. And I'm quite a kind of a first principles kind of person. So when I think about that, I'm like, it just makes sense. Like so much sense, of course. Like I, I do a lot of kind of talking and stuff about, about innovation and, and, you know, growing the economy and stuff through innovation and ideas. And, like, nothing makes more sense than being able to build on the thoughts that people have already had. 
Like it seems madness that we're developing software and other things in parallel to each other and solving things in parallel. So why isn't it more widespread in, you know, throughout our governments, throughout other commercial organizations? And, and like I have so many questions about it, and so I'm glad we're allowed to ask lots of questions in the next couple of days. Because you know, when I've talked to, to people about, um, about open source and how I feel like I don't know how I fit into the community, it's been really interesting because like, the reactions often are, oh, same. Like, I find it intimidating too. And these are from people that I, that I think of as, as being part of the community. And I was just reflecting, actually, um, as someone earlier was speaking. The word community is awesome when you're in it. It's really cool, right? And when you're not in it, it's so intimidating because you don't know how to get in it. You don't know what that means. And so when I talk to people in the public sector um, you know, about things about openness and open, and open society, they certainly don't feel like they're part of a community. And so my question is, um, is what can you do? What kind of language can you use? What can you learn to help those that currently feel a bit scared to understand the models that can be used, how we can um, you know, not feel like you have to go right to one extreme of the ideology, but actually you know, bring the open source principles and embed them into what we're currently kind of dealing with. And so, and so I'd love it. Um, you know, like this, the next couple of days are a great opportunity, of course, to, to meet with your peers and kind of talk about the stuff that you already believe in and care about and build on that. But um, I would encourage you that, that after that, that you instead find people that don't believe what you believe and, and take it on board that it's your responsibility to find the language and the stories to bring them on the journey and so that they understand and they know how, how to embed things into what they're doing. And I'd be very, very open to hearing um, that kind of conversation from any of you.